Referendums. In some parts of the world, they're an integral part of the political process. In others, they're completely unheard of. Some people here in the United States argue that referendums have gone amok, that maybe they're a good idea in theory, but in practice, they've gotten to be a little bit too much to handle. Well, today I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think referendums are overall a net positive for our political process, and why I oppose any efforts to get rid of them. Here in the United States, uh, referendums are actually one of the little talked about but very important uh, things that the progressives left behind us during the progressive era of the early 1900s. Uh, referendums basically allow the people to have a choice in whether or not a certain social or domestic issue will become law. Sometimes it means amending the state constitution, other times it just means basically the equivalent of passing a bill through the legislature. In many cases, referendums are on issues that are extremely divisive, and sometimes those referendum results are overturned by courts. Uh, recent examples of this are the most obvious, Proposition 8, overturned uh, after being passed by California, and then some of the uh, ballot measures that were overturned in Obergefell v. Hodges, which basically legalized gay marriage nationwide. But referendums aren't just a throwback on progress. They can be used to aid progress as well. Here in the United States, probably the good uh, recent example of this would be marijuana legalization. After passing in Washington and Colorado in 2012, it was again passed via the legislative process in Alaska, Oregon, and probably soon to be California in November. So here the referendums have bypassed a somewhat inert legislature and basically allowed Americans to have a leg up on social issues. Because of both this and the ability that referendums have to uh, basically keep a check on the legislature, I'm in favor of preserving them and making sure that they are implemented statewide in as many areas as possible. In the case of the United States, I'd support keeping current state referendum systems in place and also trying to introduce new ones. Referendums have their problems, don't get me wrong. Sometimes they can lead to results we don't like. Uh, across the world, probably the most obvious example of this is the Brexit referendum. A lot of people are questioning it, but in the end, it was an issue that divided the population of Britain for a generation. And the people had their say. Now, I'm not someone who says that referendums should be had for every issue. Off the top of my head, the recent Greek bailout referendum is one whose existence I question the need for. But that doesn't mean that there are certain issues that, if the legislative process is behind, can be brought ahead by referendums. In my opinion, referendums are an important way to advance social issues as well as economic and political issues. Certain things such as the minutia of budget should probably be left to a government, but certain extremely divisive things such as marijuana legalization or whether to remain a member of the European Union sometimes are best resolved by popular plebiscite. Referendums are flawed, just like all of democracy is flawed, but at the end of the day they give more than they take away from the system, and in the post-Citizens United era I don't think taking away more power from the people is a good thing. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. Uh, like if this video if you enjoyed it. Andrew Walker out.